For the first race report of the season, I've invited four of my favorite racers to the Birchwood Cafe here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Let's go in and eat. What up everyone, I'm Levi LaValle, I'm a snowcross racer. Hey, this is PJ Wonderscheid, ice oval racer for Articat. Hi, my name is April Mortz and I race for Articat. Hi, I'm Robbie Malinowski from uh, Yamaha and Boss Racing. This morning I had eggs, toast, and fruit for breakfast. This morning I had scrambled eggs and two pieces of wheat toast. I ate before I came, but I did have a couple fresh fruit. This morning I ordered fruit and yogurt because that's what's up. <laughs> Last year, my sled head 24-7 go around was very interesting. I had a couple, uh, couple good times riding with Misha. We went and played hide and go seek one time and I got stuck in the woods for hours. Levi, found you. I got you. I'm so mad. I've been here for like five hours and you couldn't find me at all. I was looking everywhere. You're good. I definitely won hide and seek today. Uh, we went in Aspen and we went up the hill and we we're gonna ride in the mountains and stuff and so we're driving the rig up there with the trailer and pretty soon get to this corner it's a little slick oh my, oh my goodness are you kidding me right now stop 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 Levi whoa this thing starts going backwards we almost back the trailer and truck right off of a mountain look look right here look what happened right there we're, we're definitely stuck I slid backwards and almost slid over the back of that hill there we're lucky, that, that's so close to be just Now would you ever dare to take on April Moritz? That, you know, fortunately I'm, I'm not a woman and I don't have to race in the women's class because she is pretty intense. Last season, Misha and I had a kind of a soap opera relationship going on. We're, it's getting kind of late, so we were thinking. I wasn't talking to you. You're done, let's go. <laughs> we... We're not exactly portrayed as getting along so well. You know the stuff you were telling him to do before? Earlier? Crap. <laughs> but in reality, we're kind of like this. And if you saw the episode where I got kidnapped, oof, fur. <laughs> that was actually real. I really did get kidnapped. Do you think you're gonna do what you did last year? I hope so. It's, it's yeah, better. I do every race, try to go and win. But... Yeah, last season was really good for us. Uh, ended up winning Eagle River and uh, won both uh, of our points championships. So I cannot believe what just happened, PJ. How are you feeling? Great. This is just amazing. I am so proud of you. I'm almost mad at you. Does that make sense? Uh, not exactly, but <laughs> hey, I'm happy. With winning Eagle River for the third time last year, I'm one of only three people that have done that. So. Hopefully this year would be the year to set myself apart and be the one to uh, win it four times. And I guess, PJ, you could probably race your llamas if you needed something. I guess you could. Probably yeah. a little tougher than any enduro, but uh, well, why wouldn't I would recommend it. It was pretty neat. Last year, uh, everybody seemed to enjoy the farm when they came up, especially Misha. Uh, we've talked at Heyday as I had another baby llama, so she's pretty excited to see that. And uh, hopefully this year you guys can come up and uh, check it out. Lake Geneva last year was uh, was the last race, and it was just a, it was a really, you know, kind of emotional roller coaster for me because I was uh, I was in the points lead, and I had to kind of defend, but yet I wanted to go out and win the races. And you are the best of the best in pro stockers. Congratulations. Is Robbie Malinowski? Uh, to win the points championship was uh, was awesome. I mean, that's what I've you know, always set out to do and... Robbie, good job, brother! <laughs> <laughs> so tell us how you feel about that and what's going through your mind. Man, it's a uh, weight off the shoulders. It's, uh, I'm excited. I'm kind of, you know, hasn't sunk in yet 100%, but uh, I'm just so glad to, to do this. <laughs> okay, you guys, I hate to interrupt, but this is going nowhere. No, honestly, I have a surprise for you all. I can't tell you what it is, but you have to follow me. Ready? Ready, yes. Okay, go. let's go. <laughs> All right, you guys, I brought you here to South Town Bowl for a little preseason challenge. Now, obviously, there's no snow on the ground, so we're going to play a little Arctic Thunder. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, let's go. Misha brought me here today to play Arctic Thunder. We're going to have a preseason race. Well, during the first race, I raced against Robbie, and I was bound and determined to win. Okay, let's just do this. Whoa. The game was really detailed. There was wind blowing in my face, and the, actually, the seats were rattling. But it was a little different because Robbie was shooting at me and kicking at me. Well, I didn't even know I could do that stuff, so I think he had a little bit of an advantage throughout the game. April, you're losing by a lot. 
This was my first race of the season, and I didn't even make it past the first round. <laughs> well, now I know I'm not on the good one. Hopefully this season, I'm, I'm gonna do some talking with Polaris, see if we can't get a missile launcher like on that game, factory equipped on my Polaris IQ 440, because uh, they come in handy at times. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah, a little oh. disappointed, but of course, uh, Snowcross is not my thing. If they had an oval game, maybe the results would be different. Of course, you always like to win when it's a video game or the real thing. All right, guys, now we have a little X Games preview. We've got Levi taking on Robbie. I came to see where LaValle's at. You know, he had a good season last year. He came right down to the final race. I made it to the championship round. You know, the whole time I was just sitting there like, man, I, this is just as serious as a snowcross race. I was like, I don't want to lose the moment. Robbie just edged me out right at the end, but I'm going to go back. There's some time before season, and hopefully I do some extra training, more riding, and come out swinging at Duluth. Hopefully it's a, a taste of, uh, of things to come. I, uh, I think it is, so hopefully it all works out. Artiva, Z1R, Truckee. What do these leading power sports brands have in common? Uncompromising performance. Unbelievable comfort. Untouchable quality. Parts Unlimited. Contact your local Parts Unlimited dealer today for information on the full line from Artiva, Z1R, and Truckee Winter Sports Gear. Parts Unlimited. We support the sport.